Hey guys, it's Malaya here at IT Supplies and I'm really excited for this video because today we're going to be making some canvas wraps and I have a special guest. Um, he is Nick Garan, the commercial manager of the Roll to Roll team. And he's going to take us through a step by step. And when I say us, yes, both of us are in for a treat. I'm going to learn and you're going to learn how to make your very own canvas wrap for the holidays. Thanks, Malaya. Next to me, I have the Epson SureColor S8600, which features a nine color ink set with the option of including white or metallic silver. Today, we're printing on our private labeled Simply Elegant gloss canvas, and we're gonna show you how to turn this into this. Okay, so now we have our print hanging here. We sent our image over from our Onyx RIP to the S80 and now we're ready to cut the image off of the printer. Epson provides a slot where you're able to insert a utility knife in that gives you a nice straight cut all the way across to remove your print from the roll on the printer. So I'm gonna bring Malaya back in here and show you guys how to cut the image off of the printer. So first, you'd like, you wanna open up the door, go into the material, since this is a thicker material with canvas, at a 45 degree angle to start your cut and then slide all the way across using your hand as a guide on the bottom so your print doesn't fall off too soon. Okay, great. So now we have our print that we're ready to trim and turn into a canvas wrap. Now we have our print trimmed off of the printer. Now we need to trim it down even further. So you could do this a number of ways. You can use a straight edge with a knife. You could use a Foster Keen cut or tabletop or standalone trimmer. Today we use the standalone Roto Trim Foster Keen cut cutter with the catch basket for all your waste. Next, we're gonna wrap the canvas. So. You can do this a number of ways as well. Most high-end or high-volume canvas producers have their own raw bars that they cut down themselves. Today, we're gonna use our already pre-cut, pre-routed self-aligning system that's going to help you create a perfect canvas wrap. So first, what we do is on IT Supplies, you could find the canvas wrap kit, which comes with four edge, four of the, the guards, staples, and of course your bars. These particular bars are more of the fancy bars that are an inch and three quarters so that you have a nice thick edge on your canvas. So first what we're gonna do is on your red corners, there's a little raised insert here that's going to fit into the routed slot on your canvas bars. So what we do first is each bar has a uh, tape on it, which is a double-sided adhesive tape. So we're going to remove, not with the help of Malaya here, remove the sticky back liner. Okay. So today we're going to be doing an 18 by 24 inch canvas. So what we're going to do first is we're going to put all of our edges in place. And then we could start placing the bars onto our, our corner guards here. So we're gonna do, it, it always goes adhesive side to the outside. So, and you can't really do this wrong because the guards won't let you. So we're going to kind of got to press a little hard to get these in. Get our sides. That's good. Thank you. Okay, so as you can see, we have all of our edge guards in place, and now we can take this and put it onto the canvas. So now we're just gonna try to align the edges as best as we can. Okay, looks great. 
So you're able to actually move these a little bit because the edges keep the adhesive off of the canvas just a little bit and just enough so that you can get things into place. So now that everything's in place and we're all lined up, we can take and press down on our wood so that the adhesive connects to the canvas. So now that that's all in, we can then carefully, with your hands on each side, remove the plastic edge guards. And we're left with this. So now what we need to do is use our knife to cut along all the edges to cut the excess, excess canvas off of our bars here. So can't, we'll have Malaya do that side. So again, the canvas is thicker, so you're going to want to make sure that you press firmly and make sure you get a nice clean cut so you don't have any frayed edges. a little bit. And you're also going to want to make sure that as you go across, you're going to want to go all the way down to the edge, which we can trim all the way up at the end there. Sometimes you're getting a little bit off here. Okay. So now we have edges cut. Move all the excess canvas here. Do one more side here. Okay, so now we have all the edges off and we're left with squares on each end. So now what you need to do, if you can see this closely, each edge, we need to cut a diagonal straight across to your corner so that we're able to fold the canvas in and get nice, clean corners. So what I like to do is start right in the corner where the, the wood almost touches and then do a diagonal cut right to the corner of the canvas. So I'm going to have Malaya do the rest of these. One more corner. Okay, great. So now we have two flaps. So as you can see, the double-sided adhesive tape comes up to the edges here on our Simply Elegant bars. So what we do with these flaps now is we pull tightly and stick them to the adhesive. And don't worry about these edges here. You will not see those. So we're going to go ahead and do that on all the corners here. And again, in each time, you want to make sure that you're pressing very firmly and pulling tightly because we want to get this canvas wrap as tight as a drum. Okay, great. So now what you see is when we actually turn these in, we get a nice corner. So now with the staples that came with our kit, we're going to take the staples and fold the corners. And you'll notice that in each corner, there are two slots that a staple will fit into. So it's always good to do one side simultaneously at a time. It, you have to get a little clever with how you're going to handle it. but And then you take your, your staples and insert them into the corners here. And then we get them in just enough and then you can either use a rubber mallet, which is what we recommend to use, or today we're going to use the corners that we use to wrap our bars with. One more staple on this side. And it doesn't really take much, it's just a simple tap. Very easy to do. Great. So now, now we have a canvas wrap and we have one more step to do. 
in the corners here, we have four, which are in the box, four pieces of wood that we push in to tighten the canvas out. Because right now, it's tight, but it's still a little bit loose, so we want to make it look really, really good here and tighten this canvas out. So again, this is where the routed edges come in. So now, these pieces that come with your kit go in each corner of your canvas. And then you just want to firmly press and push these into place. And what these are doing is actually creating some tension against the staple so that your canvas is nice and tight. So you have one last corner here. Perfect. So now we have our finished Happy Holidays canvas wrap. You can find these bars again on the website, www.itsupplies.com. There are Simply Elegant wrap bars. They come in two sizes, three, one and three quarters, or three quarters inch. How fun was that, guys? That is how you do a canvas wrap for the holidays. I'm so excited that Nick decided to join me and that you guys were able to learn some step-by-steps on how to create your own canvas wrap for the holiday season. Don't forget, like and subscribe to us on YouTube and give us any type of questions that you may have. Ask them, and we are here to help you for everything for the perfect print.